About a hundred years ago, plastics came into their own as new materials to serve human needs. There are several types of plastics. Each with a different chemistry, hence a different set of properties. Each type of plastic is put to a different use depending on the expectations of performance and safety. One of the proud moments for plastic in India was when plastic ampules delivered Dobund Zindagi Ke for the country's successful polio eradication program. PECT, the short form of polyethylene terephthalate, is widely used in packaging. PET is a polymer, polyethylene terephthalate, which is produced from two monomers which are the building blocks. When these two react, they form a long chain, we call them a polymer, and in this chain, these two chemicals are completely linked. Now, PET is a material which can be converted into many products, including textiles, fibers, the clothes we wear, and also into bottles, you know, which are transparent materials. Because they are transparent, they are extremely useful in packaging materials. PET is made using safe chemicals such as purified terephthalic acid, popularly called PTA, and monoethylene glycol, popularly called MEG. These chemicals are so safe that they are used in common items like chicken feed or are produced from corn. These chemicals are reacted at 280 to 290 degrees centigrade in the presence of very small amount of antimony as a catalyst resulting into formation of basic PET chips. All polymerization processes which involve linking of monomers require a catalyst. Without a catalyst, you cannot polymerize. So every polymer that we know requires a catalyst. By very nature, the catalyst means it is used in very, very, very small quantities. In the case of PET, we use antimony trioxide, Sb2O3 as a catalyst. To build the strength needed for blowing into bottles, PET is further polymerized in solid state at 210 to 220 degrees centigrade. Now when this polymer grows, it grows into very, very long chains of very high molecular weight materials. At the end of the reaction, the amount of antimony that is present in that polymer is hardly of a few hundred ppms. Now given that, now that catalyst is now bound very strongly to the polymer. Okay? Now, there is no way this catalyst will leach out into any fluid which is contained in that bottle. Manufacturing of PET is done using very advanced process control technologies. Additionally, the intermediate and final products are continuously subjected to strict quality procedures at different stages. The multi-stage quality checkups are done assessing presence of harmful materials, if any. Color of resin, crystallinity, presence of any foreign materials, contamination, etc. Thus, it is ensured that the PET resin is of the highest and consistent quality in compliance with all specifications and regulations. The PET resins are sold to converters who make containers or items of different shapes, such as bottles. Plastic bottles are made sort of in a similar way uh, as the glass bottles are made in the sense that uh, both materials are converted into a molten state and then blown, so air is blown into it to make a bottle. Uh, with uh, PET there is a slight uh, improvement that is done in this process which is that uh, it is the process is in two steps. So for in the first step what you make is called a preform. Uh, where a sort of cylinder of uh, PET is made uh, and in the process the polymer molecules are stretched uh, a little bit. Uh, and then this cylinder which is called a preform is then blown in the form of a bottle. For the manufacture of PET bottles, first PET resin is injection molded into preforms. No additives are added or needed during this process. These preforms are then stretched and blow molded into their final shapes. What this two-step process does is that it gives a certain orientation to the polymer molecules and therefore makes the polymer and gives special properties to the bottle. For example, 
the PET bottle is very transparent uh, because of this process. Uh, the orientation helps in improving the strength of the bottle, but most importantly, it helps in uh, preventing uh, the whatever is stored inside. The let's say a carbonated uh, uh, soft drink. It it reduces to a large extent the carbon dioxide from the liquid to diffuse out uh, into the atmosphere. So the storage life of the material inside is enhanced. During the manufacture of bottles and other items, the converters have strict quality control over the preforms and the final items. PET bottles doesn't need any uh, other additive. Uh, in particular, phthalates are uh, normally plasticizers and they're not needed in PET processing at all. Uh, so, phthalates is completely out of the question. In some parts of the world, uh, a plasticizer molecule, which is called dioctyl phthalate, has been questioned in regard to its safety. Uh, the word phthalate there and terephthalate here has kind of given people an impression that that molecule, which is dioctyl phthalate, is present in polyethylene terephthalate. Uh, but polyethylene terephthalate does not contain any phthalates. And the diactyl phthalate, which there has been a little bit of a question regarding its safety, is actually not ever used in PET. Finally, the user industries, that is the companies that use the PET bottles to pack their products, namely the pharma companies, the beverage companies, the water bottlers, etc., have to abide by strict regulations and standards to comply with since their product reaches the end consumers in the pet containers. First of all, the pharmaceutical products which are packed into these bottles, normally before they are approved for such packaging, they must have undergone substantive amount of testing and evaluation. There are specific test methods and standards prescribed for these. Under these conditions, it's been proven that even under the most aggressive conditions of leaching and extraction, less than a few parts per billion of antimony actually comes into the, uh, into the contained material. The Bureau of Indian Standards, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, and the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission have laid several standards for the use of PET for packaging food, water, liquor, pharmaceuticals, and other products. The compliance of PET bottles with the regulatory standards is testified by several studies conducted in reputed laboratories, both government and private, that are accredited by NABL and approved by BIS. PET is safe, everything has been proven. There is a formulation consideration that a company takes into consideration. So as long as the formulation is stable in given container, any kind of a liquid oral could be placed in these containers, not only in India, but even outside. I think what's important is people follow the ICH guidelines strictly and actually carry out the tests. Once they do that and assure safety, I don't think there is any further cause for concern. As far as PET is concerned, there is uh, no evidence, that there is no conclusive evidence in the literature that says that uh, a certain cause like an endocrine disruption has been uh, correlated with anything leaching out of uh, a PET bottle. There is absolutely no hard and well-proven evidence to this, to this. Germany's Federal Risk Assessment Agency and the International Life Sciences Institute, Belgium, have evaluated and averred that the usage of pet containers for packing medicines or food poses no harm to humans. A recent WHO report clearly mentions that PET does not release any cancer-causing or endocrine-disrupting chemicals, abbreviated as EDCs, and it can be recycled. Recently, National Chemical Laboratory NCL in Pune, Government of India's premier institute for research in polymers, issued a press release confirming that PET does not contain any harmful chemicals and it is safe to use PET. PET is a preferred material for making the containers because it is safe, lightweight, shatterproof, cost-effective and completely recyclable. Carrying 25 litres of water in a glass bottle, uh, in that case the glass probably would weigh more than the, the water itself, whereas carrying 25 litres of water in a PET bottle 
uh, would be so much more easier because of the lightweight of the PET bottle. Owing to these attributes and also the fact that it has the lowest carbon footprint during its production, transportation and recycling. In my course on uh, green technology, on plastic processing and recycling and how technology has helped in pollution abandonment. I take these lectures and I tell students PET is one area where is, there is zero waste because you can recycle everything. You can go back to the monomers or you can convert it into something else. PET is preferred over other alternatives such as glass, tin, paper, etc. All PET containers, including colored, are collected, sorted and recycled. In India, more than 70% of PET gets recycled. More than 1.6 million waste collectors depend directly on plastic, primarily PET waste, which constitutes 30% of their income. Recycling of PET is preferred by the poor waste collectors because of its lightweight, higher returns and safe handling compared to glass, which is fragile and causes injuries. India consumes 7 lakh tons per year PET chips for PET bottles, while PET bottle collection is 70% at about 5 lakh tons per year. Global consumption of PET chips is at 170 lakh tons per year, and PET collection rate is 46% at 78 lakh tons per year. India's recycling industry has been growing at 20% for the past five years. Recycling capacity today stands at 6 lakh tons. PET is an environmentally friendly packaging material. Use of PET in packaging beverages consumes 52% lower energy compared to glass or metal and reduces greenhouse gas emissions by 55%. Plastics packaging industry is pivotal on its own and is critical for vital industries like food and pharmaceuticals. Global pet demand is exceeding 21 million tons. If we look at the domestic demand for pet, it is also reaching a figure of 1 million tons. PET is made and converted into these products. They have been subjected to pretty severe processing conditions and in spite of it you know these molecules are extremely stable you know uh, PET as a molecule is very stable it is hydrolytically stable it is chemically stable it is stable to biological environment and nothing happens under most common application conditions. Indian climates match climates across the world so even if we look at our low temperatures and our high temperatures, it would still match with some zone across the world. So given that kind of situation, I don't think the climatic condition should be any cause of concern for use of PET. So here is a proven, safe, recyclable and cost-effective packaging material offering multiple benefits across various strata of our society in different ways providing safe water and safe medicine, making it possible to keep prices cheaper, offering employment to millions, leading recycling and ensuring safety for the environment. A friend in need, a friend indeed.